Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Cooking with Gloria. Today, I want to show you how to make some delicious popusas of zucchini, soaked, drowned in a green salsa that I know you guys are going to love and enjoy. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. Tomatillos, jalapeños, one garlic cloves, pink Himalaya salt, tomillo, cilantro, black pepper, maseca to prepare the delicious dough, and of course the star, the mixture of Monterrey Jack zucchini, and that recipe, you already have it on my channel, and water. And this is everything we need to prepare this amazing Popusas de calabaza, made at home with lots of love, soaked in this delicious green sauce. So let's get started. I want to start here with the tomatillos. As you could see, I have the tomatillos here and the jalapeños, and I'm taking the stems off of the jalapeños, making sure I take them really good off. And then this is the tomatillo. This is how the tomatillo comes with this extra skin on the top but you are going to remove it. Your tomatillos are gonna be very sticky. And now let's go and rinse them through running water. You know that this is very important. Always rinse your veggies, especially the tomatillos because they are very sticky and you need to remain, remove the stickiness of the tomatillo. Once this is done, I have my saucepan here. I'm gonna add my tomatillos, my jalapeños and my garlic clove and then i am going to add water this is the first step making this delicious and amazing sauce so let's go to the stove and let's start cooking the tomatillos it really doesn't take too long maybe like three four minutes before before they start changing color and here this is the next step preparing the maseca i'm gonna go ahead and add the maseca here add some water and I'm going to be adding a little bit at a time until it forms a dough, a very soft and pliable dough. Make sure that you mix it really good so there is no lumps of maseca in between your dough. This is the way you need to make it firmly with your hands and once this is done how do you know when it's ready when you make a little ball and it doesn't crack on the sides then that's when you know that the masa the dough is ready i'm gonna cover it i'm gonna let it rest for at least 20 minutes always rest your dough before you make your delicious pupusas or tortillas well, here they're still nice and green. Now they have changed color to a little yellow green. And now is the time to remove it, put it on my blender cup, and I'm gonna add just one cup of water. I'm gonna add the spices in here. Do not add too much water or else your salsa is going to be very runny. You want it nice and thick. Remember that the salt is to taste. Okay, let's go ahead and let's blend away. And this really doesn't take too long. Once this is done on the same saucepan, I'm going to add some vegetable oil and I'm going to start cooking the delicious green salsa. I'm going to cook it for about two to three minutes until it changes color. And you will see what I mean. Look at this. Now it's really, really green. And this is exactly how you want it. This is the time where you're going to taste it. It tastes great. I don't need to add anything else. This is ready. Let's go and let's start heating our skillet. I have, I added a little bit of vegetable oil and with the napkin, I'm just rubbing it through 
so that my pupusas don't stick. I have the filling here of the zucchini and the cheese. And of course, this recipe, you already have it on my channel, step by step, how to prepare the filling for your pupusas. Of course, I have many fillings on my playlist. And here I am going to start, look at this, making the little tortilla. Once this is like this, I'm going to start adding the filling right inside and be generous with your filling. You want your pupusas to have a lot of cheese inside. This is the best part. When you dig into your pupusa and it's filled with the filling. Look at this. It's very easy to make it. You just need practice. It's not too hard. The more you practice, the better you become on making these delicious and amazing pupusas at home. Drowned in this delicious and amazing green sauce. Well, here, let me show you how I'm going to put it on the skillet. When the skillet is nice and hot, it's so easy to move it around just like this. Okay, this is done. I'm going to continue making the rest. And I'm going to show you when they are ready, what you need to be looking for. When a pupusa is ready, it turns really golden brown from the top. It's really bubbling with your cheese. But the most important part is that the pupusa needs to be very fluffy. It actually fluffs up when it's ready to be removed. If it doesn't fluff up, just leave it there for just a little more while. And then you will see that it rises from the center. And when you put your finger right on the top, you could see that it, it has a lot of air in inside. And that's how you know when it's cooked through all the way. And of course, I'm going to show you that step because I want you to be an expert when you're making your delicious and amazing homemade pupusas. Look at this. How do you know when they're ready? They, they are getting nice and fluffy like this one. That's when you know that the pupusa is ready. The rest are still cooking and they're kind of flat from the center. That's okay. Just give them a little more time. Look at this. That's exactly how you want your pupusas. Those two are ready to be removed. Okay, I have my plate here for the presentation. And of course, I'm adding... And being very generous with the green sauce on the bottom. And then I'm going to add the pupusa right on the top. You need to try it. You need to enjoy this delicious and amazing recipe. Let me cut this one in half. So that you see how much filling there is inside. Look at this. Nice and hot. I'm ready for the presentation. I'll see you in a little bit. But let me go and show you from close up how this looks. The sauce comes out so thick, so delicious. My mouth is already watering. I can't wait to enjoy it and dig in. I hope my friends, you give it a try. You enjoy this delicious and amazing zucchini pupusa at home. See you in a bit. with this delicious and amazing recipe zucchini popusa in drowned and soaked in this delicious and amazing green sauce this is the part i really love and enjoy tasting my recipes of course i'm really going to dunk it in and enjoy it i wish you guys were here to taste it with me excuse me mmm mmm 
perfection made at home. Mm. This pupusa came out amazing. You need to give it a try. It's delicious and you could make it at home. There's no need to go out, make it at home. I know you guys are going to enjoy it. If you liked and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up. Share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives. So cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell. And if you didn't, leave it activated. So every time I make a delicious recipe like I did today, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you soon. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye-bye.